Hey, welcome back Triple R. Today we're going to talk about Funko Pops and why I hate them. I think they're the worst collectible. They're stupid looking. I can't stand the facial expression. They don't look like the hero. They're so squished down and so dumb looking. I know collectibles are, you know, opinions. I have my collectibles back there. I usually collect things that are cheap or things that I just like, period. Um, probably going to start taking most things out of box too because I've noticed that kind of a it's kind of annoying too when I see a whole wall of inbox collectibles. It just looks like a Walmart aisle. So, <laughs> anyways, Funko Pops saw them at Ollie's, some Austin Powers ones. They're like three ninety nine. So that's still way too much. I didn't know they were like ten bucks, fifteen bucks. And I guess they have some Chase ones are like fifty bucks. So we're taking a look at Funko Pop and then what the hero should look like and like what you should look for in a collectible, not a Funko Pop. Okay, first up, let's take a look at Batman. We'll look at a Batman Funko Pop. There's what. There's a Batman squeaky toy, I guess. I don't know. Looks stupid. Ridiculous. Things like the Dark Knight, you know, evokes fear. Now, let's see what Batman should look like. So, Funko Pop. Batman, Funko Pop, Batman, all right, moving on, so they got Superman, well, yeah, Superman's flying, horrible, Funko Pop, still small, who cares, Superman, see, that's what your Superman should look like, somewhat. That does not look like Superman. I don't know what this is. Well, like I said, looks like a dog squeaky toy. So you shouldn't be mean to your dog and get him some stupid looking. And I don't even want to show these next two, but we made them. So unfortunately, two of my favorites. There's a little upset doom, I guess. Yeah, maybe a. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Yeah, there he is. Now, what should Dr. Doom look like? Something like that. Dr. Doom, Funko Pop. Doom, Funko Pop. Now, as Xena fans, we don't get a lot of collectibles, so I understand, I guess, if someone had to buy this Funko Pop, and I'm making any more Xena stuff. Um, still, though, that doesn't exactly show the, the toughness of Xena. Um, so, a sword, shock him. No mouth, of course. <coughs> so, Funko Pop, and what Xena should look like. Funko Pop. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know what? What should we do with this? I'm just going to make it larger. Anyway. So, crappy Funko Pops that look ridiculous. I don't know why people collect them. Um, maybe people collect Beanie Babies, so, you know, there's that. So there was also... This has happened before. We've done this before. Um, with like, uh, it's almost worse. Was um, Mighty Mugs. That's pretty bad. So, as I, I found one at Marshalls once, I picked it up like dirt cheap and I got rid of it. And he also had. Um, some die-cast metal figs. For some reason came up in that. Let's do this again. Open this in paint. So there's that. So it's a metal fig. So they're heavier and a little more detail than a Funko Pop. But they didn't catch on either. 
So only Funko Pops, they must have really good marketing. I don't know how they convinced people to, to buy them, but they did. Um, it reminds me of Beanie Babies for some reason. I don't know why, because, I don't know, it's silly. I know, collectibles, they're, they're an opinion thing. If you like them, collect them, whatever. But these things are ridiculous. They were, come on, look at these things. I mean, look at them. They're, they're so bad. They're so, so bad. Horrible. Superman does not look like that. That's Superman. Bats. No. No, nobody wants to see Batman like that. Nobody. All Funko Pop should be a five and below in the discount section for half off, two fifty. Still too much. But if you have them, they're worth money. I'd probably sell them as soon as you could. Just to get them out of your house and into someone else's collection. And then the market can crash and they can make something better for us to collect. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night wherever you are.